Hi, this is Don, KE6VXT. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect an analog phone using a voice over IP analog telephone adapter like this to your broadband hamnet. The analog telephone adapter that I'm using is made by Grandstream and it's the model HT701. It's very easy to hook up. There's a Cat5 cable, a cable that goes to the telephone, and then a power cable. This is how it looks connected to one of my nodes. When selecting a phone, make sure it's capable of touch tone. Now if it has a redial button, that's even better. Now let's look at what you need to do in order to advertise the phone number or IP address for this phone. You're going to go to the setup screen and then go to the port forwarding page. And uh, you can see that we have uh, 200 voice over IP at uh, the IP address and I've advertised it as the IP address because this is in effect the telephone number that you're going to be dialing. I will go back to node status and mesh status and we can see that 200-VOIP is advertised as 10.45.237.93 which is the phone number. But if we click on that link that takes us to the setup information for the uh, analog telephone adapter. Now the good news is that since we're using the IP address as the phone number, we don't need to set up anything in the setup screens. You might want to make a static IP address, but that's about all you need to change in these windows. So let's make a practice call. menu option. Direct IP calling. Are you down? That's how easy it is to add a telephone to your broadband ham net. Please comment on my YouTube video and let me know if you enjoyed this video or if there's other videos you'd like to see in the future. Until then, happy meshing.